All right, everybody. Uh, wanted to talk a little bit today about the Rescue Me tool. And oftentimes, you know, my friend Greg Ellifritz, myself, and, and a lot of other people who understand the emergent entry or egress from a vehicle in an accident situation, really encourage people to pick up a Rescue Me tool. Really affordable tool that allows you to break auto glass uh, to enter or exit a vehicle in, under the emergent situation. So oftentimes when we encourage these, these tools online, oftentimes the peanut gallery tends to oversimplify a concept of laminate glass in the sides of vehicles. And there, that needs to be kind of put into context. Folks need to understand that the overwhelming majority of vehicles still in production today have a significant presence of tempered glass. I wanted to show you two examples. Um, we'll start with this one because it's the most kind of typical. This is a 2021 uh, Toyota 4Runner. In this vehicle, it has kind of the traditional distribution of laminate glass versus tempered glass. So remember that laminate glass can't be breached with a tool like this. Uh, we have to cut it or uh, or use a saw on it to, to breach laminate glass. But something that's important if you're going to take up one of these tools or drive any vehicle is understanding what the glass distribution on your vehicle actually is. Uh, so it's really simple to find out on your windshield in the lower front corner you will see some verbiage, some codes and things like that. You may see the word on windshield, it's, it's universally gonna be a laminate glass. So you may see on this one, it's a, a lama pane, it may be lama safe, or it may just simply say the word laminate or laminated. That means it's not gonna be penetrated with this tool. You got to uh, hit it with an, uh, a cutting tool of some sort and uh, it's not gonna break normally. On your side windows, if you go down in the lower corner, this is a perfect example here, 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 and all the way around. In the lower corner, you will find code and information about what type of glass it is. And here on this 2021 uh, Toyota 4Runner, you will see temper light. You may see temper, temper safe. You may simply see the word tempered or what have you. That is to indicate that this window, this window, this window, this window, and even the back, back here, are all tempered glass. As well, the sunroof will have a code to let you know what type of glass it is. This one has, has tempered glass. But I wanted to take you over to this other example. This vehicle is a 2023 Honda Accord hybrid, top of the line vehicle for, for Honda. The windshield, as you would be, as you would expect, is laminated. But if we go around and we check our modern Honda Accord, you will see that the front passenger windows say the word laminated. So the front driver and passenger window have laminated glass. But if you go back here, you will see that the rear passenger windows say tempered. And that's a pretty interesting thing. So. You should understand if you don't drive a vehicle such as this, that by simply reading these, these little window coded systems, you will know how to attack that glass and overcome that glass. So if you're in this vehicle and you need to rapidly egress, this tool isn't gonna do it through the front windows. But if you simply recline the vehicle or access the rear of the vehicle, you'll be able to punch out the tempered glass rear windows with this tool as well. The sunroof on this vehicle is tempered. And if we go back to the rear window on, the, on this Honda, you'll see temper light, which means that that also is tempered. So modern Honda Accord 2023, you see laminated glass in the front driver and passenger window, which is awesome, but you can, you can also find accessible, usable, tempered glass. So just a little tip I wanted to give out to let you know how to read the glass on your vehicle to know how you can use this tool. Thank you for watching.